All right. Yay! Welcome Let's back go. to Let's Ned's go. Declassified Podcast Survival Guide, a very special episodes uh, episode with the creators, yeah. executive producers, <sighs> Scott and Michelle Fellows. Hey! Thanks for being here. Hey! Mom and pop fellows. Mom and pop of Ned's Declassified. <laughs> Captains of our ships. Yeah, thank you guys for coming yeah, and it's being blast. here. It's like stewards of our dreams, just like the first ones to see us off into the, yes. you know, you were adorable and great and funny and hardworking, and you're still that way. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, 100%. Yeah. I mean, can you believe it? All these years later, the lasting impact of this show, not oh. just on the public, but on our lives. Like, yeah. our lives. Man, we're here we'll doing this yeah. still, and I don't know. I know we all feel like just a ton of gratitude. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Oh, sure. it's, 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 it's strange. Like, um, um, <laughs> just singularly, like us separately, I don't think that there is like that large, I mean, for me, there's that large energy, whatever. But um, together, we are just the doofiest dumbasses oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that yeah. have yeah, ever hasn't lived. Changed. Like, yeah. oh my yeah, yeah, yeah. gosh. Yeah. It was the same on the set. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but that's what we were going for. Mm -hmm. Doofy dumbasses. <laughs> That was yeah. basically the pitch. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we dumbasses with hearts. With oh, yes. hearts. Yes. Always with the heart. Thank Always you. Always doing the right thing. Yes. Yes. That part. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We've been regressing no. since getting back together. That's not true. Best, best, yeah. We've best, just been best. regressing back to middle yeah. school. We um, all do. We all do, by the way. Oh. See, this yeah. is why we should have shared. Yeah, oh, exa okay. exactly. See, because we do this all the time anyways. Right. Uh, um, <laughs> we share so, mics at home like, all hey, the time. Ju right. Yeah, just be, just, yeah, just yeah, be no, aware we, of it. Yeah. We've, 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 we're in okay. um, we <laughs> I want to go way back to the beginning. Where did the original idea come from? How did this all start? Yeah. Um, I was... Uh, I was asked at Nick to just sort of come up with some ideas for live action shows. I was mm -hmm. working at uh, Fairly Odd Parents. I don't know. Were you still EIC? You were EIC at the time. You were like on. Like, I was. A I was at EIC show, right? on um, Drake and Josh. Oh no shit! And Rocket wow. Power at the time. Yeah. And yeah. Rocket, Power? Rocket Power. Yeah. I, I didn't know Rocket this. Power. I loved Rocket yeah. Power. <laughs> um, so I was working at F FOP, and then they wanted to do a big push um, in live action at the time, and so um, the heads, Margie Cohn, Albie Hecht, Kevin K, they asked me. Um, if I have any just ideas. And so I just, I'm like, oh, create shows. And uh, so I just kind of dove in and sort of, um, I sort of looked at the shows that were on the air and I noticed that it's like some shows I felt were developed for shows that kids, that adults think kids will like. Mm -hmm. And then I sort of went back and said like, what show did I need when I was a set in seventh grade? Mm -hmm. And so the idea is like, what would, what would kind of help? And so I really, I was so lost in seventh grade. That's a really transitional thing. You guys talk about it. When you're talking about your youth, it's just it was the idea that I'm like, you know what I could have used? Like, you do some time, what the, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, <laughs> yeah baby. So someone that was, I can relate to telling me what the fuck is going yeah, on. Yeah, because looking back yeah. in seventh grade, like I just did not know. I mean, my family was very loose. Uh, they were entertainers, and so there wasn't a lot of structure going on. I didn't, you know, I just didn't have um, any sort of. Uh, support to sort of know what was going on. So I'm like, let's go back and let's create these silly guys and based on a kid that accidentally went into the girl's bathroom, which did happen to me at a movie theater once. So that all came from the truth. And that was it. And then <laughs> it was just life. the idea, let's do this survival guide. And Nick was really cool to um, say, yeah, we like that idea. That's pretty mm -hmm. exciting. Yeah. So then I yeah. left my steady gig so I could come work on yeah. this show. On this oh, new, on this new <laughs> upstart. Yeah. yeah, I know. No right? guarantee. No, you really feel those roots in it because of the potency of the tips i mean they 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 are still really good tips and yeah. and really detail oriented and specific yeah i mean one of the nicest things from the series is first of all seeing you guys are all like still hanging out in friends and okay. i know you had rob on and it's so it's just so nice um but um uh getting back to that question i'm sorry Liz, i just lost my train of thought was, oh no no it, no one of the nicest things looking back is how you guys all really remain friends and that's really special. And we all remain friends. We all still text and you guys come over for New Year's and stuff yeah. like that. But it's, I still get kids that come up, whether it's friends of my, our, our kids in college that say that show was hugely important. I have a guy on my softball team right now. He's like, when he found out that I was like Scott Fellows, he was like, wait, you created Ned's Declassified? I'm like, who lies about that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> if Weird I was going to be an imposter, I think of a much better <laughs> yeah. dude. Very specific. But he said, like, those tips helped me so much. And yeah. that is something that, uh, that was the goal of the show, is to just yeah. sort of, kids in that moment, that kid kind of lost, to let you know, 
one main thing is that you're not alone because mm-hmm. you do think you're alone. Like you thought you were the only guy in class with an erection. That part? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we heard the erection episode <laughs> on the way over it here. So <laughs> it Even <did>. the ladies. <laughs> No, like these things happen to everybody. And also the, the other thing that this series really tried to do is like you're going to get through this yeah. with a good attitude, with some good strategies, mm-hmm. and, uh, and also knowing when to avoid the idiots and focus on the good, you'll get through that. And when you do, you know, you can, you can make it. That's the thing. It, just, it feels at that time that, you know, it's just overwhelming, but you'll get through it with, yeah. a, with a good attitude. And Michelle said heart, which you guys all put in the show every episode. Mm-hmm. We'll talk. Yeah. What was that like for you to leave your steady gig and cu- I mean, did you guys know what was being picked up? Did you? Oh yeah. I mean, I face? didn't work on the 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 pilot, the original pilot. No, it, I didn't move over until it was the series. So you were good to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. it was super exciting. We kind of a little bit worked together before on a couple of other projects, but nothing huge. So this was a big deal to so work this was on like this your together. First big. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Working on it so together. So it's like you know, do or die. Well, she <laughs> we was can help each other. The casting. You, know? <laughs> you, you guys were just like always the epitome of like. Um, calm and cohesive how much of that was i mean how 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 rough was it to like run that together to ha- i mean was it rough like was it was no, it a lot because you guys had composure calm cool and collected. yeah calm, well we had started cool. a family so yeah, that was the babies. crazy part was we had the kids going at the same time so yeah. that was kind of crazy yeah. she manages it yeah she still manages they were it. around they would hang DJ out on the couch yeah, yeah they'd hang out on set a lot the, the writer's room yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah you guys did run it like a you family did it all business. yeah yeah. It, what? It is. They spent their spring is. break in like the makeup room and then running around and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny. They would come over in the spring breaks and vacations yeah. and stuff like that. And every, that's what was the thing about you talked about the family of the crew. Like they were amazing. They really didn't have to do that, but they did. And they made the kids feel welcome. And it was such a safe space for them to kind yeah. of run around in. So we're very fortunate. But yeah, yeah, that has a lot to do with Nickelodeon too. Yeah. I have to say, like, you know, for us, it was very easy. But Nick at the time and still is. Um, just a really great place to work. I think you yes. guys went on to other projects and like they're like yes. that was the most fun. Yes. Oh, and yeah, and yeah. I think that was mm-hmm. the that was kind of the universe. It was really it was really different from I mm-hmm. think other networks, but that's really all I kind of know mm-hmm. is the Nick and sort of um a, a touch of Disney here and there or Cartoon Network. But but that Nick Nick deserves a lot there because um yeah. because it was so easy to create those fun moments because I think at early um an earlier podcast you guys talked about we used to screen episodes on a oh, Friday yeah. yeah you know and I would go Nick I'm like these kids work so hard they should be able to see it and that's them saying like okay here's you know here's, here's the money rough cut, you know pizzas, here's money. all that kind yeah. of stuff here's your yeah. juice boxes yeah here's your juice boxes and they would oh, do yeah. that so it was easy in, in that in that uh in that case to do that that's so cool because yeah. yeah it was it was such a ridiculously uh lasting fun family experience like it still holds such a special place and not you know, we've been hearing over the last X amount of years, like not every set was like that, but ours was. Oh, ours and was. It's, it's wild. Ours was a family. To, it's wild to hear fans be like, now I'm watching it with my kids. Yes. And, yeah. and, and now yeah. it's becoming like generation wide. And It holds and, up. It yeah. holds up. Besides the flip phones, it holds oh, yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, there's some technological differences. <laughs> it's, 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 but the heart holds up. But the it's comedy really holds wild up. How, how, how all of it kind of like stands. I mean, yeah. How, what a great fleshed out vision and yeah. foundation and heart to go from because, you know, um, yeah, I think it's like has this pace that it was very, is it was very fast of its pace. Time. And it's, you it's prophesied got this. a lot of things, too, you know, with the writing and everything. Even like there was one episode where we were talking about like uh, make sure you videotape the uh, the sessions or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you videotape the classes or whatever. And it's like it's so crazy. Now flip phones. Just, I mean, yeah, phones. They just break them out. Smartphones. Well, wasn't there a meme during the pandemic, too, that had you like squirting? Mm-hmm. Ned COVID. Predicted? Yeah. And yeah. that's first season is the yeah. sick days episode. Yeah. And then that meme blew up during oh, COVID. Yeah. 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 And I get on the, the beach ball and, yeah. the, and the spraying. Yeah. Google get glasses, back. too. Get back. Yep. Oh, the Google, Google glasses. glasses. cookie, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah what yeah, do you yeah. guys remember of the casting process? Well, that's what we were talking about, actually, earlier. Yeah. We remember a lot from the cast. I know none of us wanted Devin. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> you wanted Carlos <laughs> Pena, I know. No, that's not, that's not true. That's not true. Um, um, well, I think one of the things that I remember is when you walked in the door, like, your role was a little bit tricky, you know, because mm-hmm. you, you had to be kind of the straight guy, but you also had to be... Hilarious and a tomboy, and, funny. Mm-hmm. and that and was a, a lot. And feminine, like yeah. all the for things. a period of time, you know, we were seeing people, and you even said, "You said I don't know what if this character's not funny." Yeah, like, but that character's not funny. Because what if it's not funny? And I'm like, "It's funny. It is. It's funny." So let's just keep going. Yeah. Wow. So for the audience, you write sides. So you basically create before the show's created as you're casting. You write what you 
a scene for the character mm -hmm. that really like is like this quick two page scene that just gets the character across and really try, trying to go for. And I remember, you know, uh, it was it was just an amazing process back then. I mean, you I remember pilot season? Like, yeah, it's, it's kind of, I think it's changed since then. But there's no, pilot you know, the anymore. the oak woods would fill pilots. up and, oh, yeah. Yeah. and everybody oh, yeah. would come out mm -hmm. for pilot season. So you were seeing, you know, the best kids. But the one thing I remember about Lindsay was you were the first one cast. I'm I'm almost yes. 90. Yes. Yes. Sure. She was. Said in that first she was. Episode, yeah. you were. Because you were. she was. And by the way, Michelle and I, I are, you remember. know, we're, we're there and we have our sides and all the Nick executives are there and these kids come out and I'm like, you know, the first kid, you know, Mo. And I was like, yeah, I guess that could work. That could work. And I was, you know, after a while, we're like, ah, I don't know. And then Lindsay says like four words. I'm like, yeah, that's most. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then you have to you have to pretend like she doesn't have it, but it wasn't even you knew. close. Wow. Yeah. And you said I kicked you under the table. I don't remember. No, that, that was Devin. Oh, it was when Devin yeah. walked in. Because ah! you were the, the table. You were the last cast. <laughs> <laughs> you were the last cast for the original <laughs> the pilot. pilot. Right. And so, and and that was the trickiest because we we had what we felt at the time was a cookie, and we had. Mo's boogie and then boogie boogie yeah. right boogie that's right mm -hmm. very good very yeah. excellent yeah. Ned's very, history I was for boogie Daniel's back trivia then. Yeah. Yeah. is yeah, yeah. and yeah. um and so uh the de the Ned's that were coming in just wasn't like feeling it and you were the one of the last to come wow. to audition I think it was like I think we were we were all like and, and this Michelle and I and Nick were like he yeah, it's good but there's you know and then they bring in another session and either you had just come out or something like that, and you were, God, you were tiny. You were 11. Oh. <laughs> he was so tiny. But yeah. you just came out, and you sat shrimp. there, and you did the bit, and I'm looking at this kid, and then, Mich yeah, you, Michelle gave me the thump, thump. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's said, that's mini you, But I was Scott. like, don't get cooked. That don't is get what's cocky. so amazing mini. about the casting process. I think that in all the people that we cast, it's like, there they are. There they are. They just found yes. it, you know, because you guys bring so much into the room, like but we had above it. what's on the paper. But mm. yeah, and there was an there interesting dynamic going on at the time because there was kind of like two possible casts. Because like I think you mentioned earlier, Joanna Levesque mm -hmm. came yeah. in, who became mm -hmm. jo who is JoJo, mm -hmm. and she was also a a a, 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 a potential Mose. Mm -hmm. um, and then the one kid that we sort of had in line before we found you, like you were like just too. Tall for him, like it just was like I'm like, and so and we oh was wasn't that, too tall for Devin? Devin? wasn't too tall for no, my short no, no, ass no no, 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 what, no whatever it was and by the way you also knew that like you know between the pilot you were gonna yeah, yeah. Just yeah, shoot yeah, up yeah, but yeah. but there was like a younger I didn't. group that was like actually <laughs> kind of like seventh grade like a like like seventh grade age mm. and then we had this sort of you know a little bit Slightly like younger. possibly go with older. And um, obviously with that, because it just was as we tested, I don't know if you remember, but I think we tested everybody yeah. around. Yeah. But it was clear that you guys had such a fun dynamic. Um, yeah. And that's, that's what sucks. So, and, and I think you talk about the longevity or people still talking about it because it, you it's guys lasted. and that guy. Uh, well, yeah, because then, we, well, then we got to ta tell the audience about the recasting process yeah. Yeah. for the pilot that's that correct. brought us Daniel. Yeah. So yeah. time out, time out. This is, okay, so right right, right before we got to the recast. So maybe we're, Boogie we're, wasn't we're the right the name. Last, so we, yeah, Bogoslavski is like, don't Yeah, like Bogoslavski. <laughs> I was so nervous because I had like gone in and it was like the fourth time I had gone in and I like ad-libbed something in the audition and you came out like very specifically to me and you were like, just stick to the script. Did I? I, I think I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I and know. I was like, okay, that's fair. It means You're business. Just trying to shake and you up. That is fair. Okay. Um, but uh, I don't remember then, that. Okay. I don't remember so that. then we get to recasting. Yes. What, what was it like to hear about that? Like, was the news? Yeah, because yeah, like, the news you know, rocked one good and then, us. The one-two well, punch of the shows picked up. Yeah, but well, I, but I guess on their end, it's normal for a pilot to need to recast some characters. Mm. Like a lot of casts, it is get, yeah. actually a lot of casts and get it, recast. It's happened on more than one. Yeah, of and your Joanna, shows. Joanna so, was yes. the the yes. was um was Zemo. Lisa Zemo, but then the she pilot. got her like record deal. Yeah, because she went on to America's Most Talented Kids yeah. or like mm -hmm. that. No, I think it comes down to um, MTV, which was Nickelodeon was under that umbrella, had a really great diversity, you know. Pro mm -hmm. uh, oh, it was it was correct program. Yeah, yeah it was, it was and was it was correct. actually you know really kind of forward thinking. Now you know it's, I, I, it's I, all I, in yeah, that. I feel so we 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 obviously knew that it was that was obvious that we we're going to change that. I just felt so bad for Stephen Marcari. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I think we we're all kind of heartbroken. But we for actually sure. bring, bring Stephen yeah, back. Yeah, you brought him back. Uh -huh. And by the way, Stephen's doing great. I think he just like launched a his own theater company and. Great. In uh, he texted Massachusetts. Me and was like, I loved the first episode you guys. Yeah. <laughs> you guys well and just That's so great. Yeah, and remember y'all share the same birthday? 
I forgot that. No, yeah. that's crazy. But yeah. but the reality yeah. was is that um, it really did need that diversification. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so we dove into that. But it wasn't just it wasn't just um, the boogie character or the cookie character. It was all of everybody. Yeah. 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 Um, but then Daniel came in. I remember at that point we auditioned you. Was it like in the gymnasium at the animation studio? Yes. Like, yeah, 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 at, at Nick Animation yeah. in Burbank, yeah. yeah. And it's a lot of pressure. And you were like very green. Was this like your first? I was green. I had done like Friday After Next. Okay. Yeah, I was just yeah. kind of tagging on to my brother's auditions at that time, yeah. But um, wow. I, yeah. I remember at that point, I just wanted to make sure you were immediately like stood out as somebody that, you know, whether it was your temperament or your tone, but it looked like this would, was going to fit. And then I just really wanted to test your physicality because because mm. yeah. because that character was going to be like very physical. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, I I ran you I ran you through. I'm like, okay, now run against the wall and just slam into the wall. Oh yeah, yeah. Now, it was a it, 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 it was, it, hold on. No, it was a padded wall. No. Yeah, it was a padded wall. It was yeah, a padded yeah. wall. Yeah. What? What? Yo, but I loved it because I played football. So all the physical humor it was like, yeah. it was right in the pocket for me. I'm like, yes, oh, I'm nailed this. And at one point, you know, we had the bathroom episode, so I said, I'm like, okay, now hold your cr- <laughs> like you have to run to the bathroom and Daniel just this kid and I remember Nick is like, like don't make you don't have to make him <laughs> but Daniel grabbed his crotch did this like high stepping I got a piece of battle I'm like well that's the kid I'm like, dude I yeah. locked in yeah I locked into those moments I'm like hey we're going yeah, full most out, of what you out. do on the show is physical. Like, yeah. man, yeah. Cookie's yeah. whole yeah. thing is faces and physical Gosh. craziness. Did yeah. your yeah. brother audition for the show or just you? He had auditioned for the Boogie character like oh, early on. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I don't think he came for the callback for Cookie. I'd have to yeah. ask him. Were you but, like, yeah, yeah? No, 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 not at all. We just we were just trying to you know do yeah, it. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. We were just yeah. Like, That's excited awesome. To be That's up. nice. Yeah. And then and then Boogie became Cookie because your last name was Cook, and yeah. then you had the mm-hmm. computers were like computer cookies. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah, we're yeah, like, okay, worked. so it's Cookie. But Nick Nick had a little like, is it kind of weird? I'm like, it's just it's just putting a Y at the end of Cook. Is well, no, I also like, remember oh. why you named the character Cookie because you had this whole thing. With your college friends, you called each other like Cookie oh Cookie Head. Head. That's right, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that was part of it too. Yeah, we still do. <laughs> yeah, real life <laughs> references from this one. There's a lot, a yeah. lot of those in the show. A lot of so all the good. last names, uh-huh. like yeah. yeah, I still go to my yearbook and like I need a name for this. Person. I'm like <laughs> oh <laughs> Sanford Yeomans, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> Done. Yeah, a lot of, the, <laughs> a lot of the teachers. Yeah, you. You do pull from your background sure. a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think that's good. It's like a, it's a little thing you can smile at from your real life. No one else knows like you named yeah. it based on like your old Fun. friend or whatever. Well, I would Fun. put real names. Like it was kind of funny. Mm-hmm. And and uh, but but names are friends, so it, yeah. there it wasn't any chance of getting sued. Yeah. Gotcha. But I remember a friend of mine uh, called up. They're, they're like. Uh, the kids were like, Mom, I think they just said your name. <laughs> on Nets, I think it was like a speed dating episode with you. And so all three girls were like, how would you like to go with Becky Sherwood, Amy uh, Willie, oh, and wow. uh, Jeanette Beer, whatever it was. Oh and those gosh. were all kids I went wow. to. Yeah, Hilarious. <laughs> were the That's great. teachers cast on the show, was that easy? Was that through offers? Was that a lot of One of them was casting? her best friend. Yeah. Who? Kim. Kim, Kim Sava. Oh, Coach. Oh, oh, Kim. Yeah. Coach Durga. Coach, Coach Durga. Yes. Nice. Yeah, we went to acting school together. So. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. That was easy. Yeah, so as we've been rewatching, so like when we were on the show, I don't know, everything, I just accept everything as a kid. Oh, these are all my friends. I, we're all co actors. This is all great. Rewatching, like watching these adults on our show, these great actors with like long careers and how willing they were to like enter the zany Ned's world. How well they treated us! Like they were fantastic. Watching oh it gosh. back, I just feel Class so X. much affection for do. them. That's yeah. like, who I want to be when I get old. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like all of them. As yeah. a kid, I didn't have the context for what like life is like to be an actor long into your adulthood, and like now knowing that, watching them, I have yeah. more love oh, for them. My gosh. Um, yeah, what was casting all of them and like bringing on all these incredible adults like? Well, a couple things. One, I want to give a shout out again to Nick Casting because they they maintain really good relationships with a lot of these actors, which is why when we were looking for roles, they'd say, "Hey, why don't you take a look at this person? Mm. You know, they're yeah. available." And then the other and thing, if is, they were, and if they were assholes, they'd never be in the pile. Mm. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's so, true. It's yeah. true. And then wow. also, um, why am I spacing? Oh, well. For obvious reasons, Mr. Monroe, because I grew oh, up watching Jim J yeah. playing the character Monroe. You know, that's not a huge yeah. reach Leap. for that. Yeah. And then, yeah. of course, Meshack was just incredible. Yeah, so yeah. a lot of that was just like, let's just see. Let's right. see if we can get um, 
you know, the lead singer of Everclear. Let's just see. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, let's just it. try. And, yeah. you know, he's like, sure, I'll come. Because like, he had a kid. He's like, yeah, my kid watched the show. I'll come. So that really And helped. that yeah. episode gets referenced to me a lot. Yeah. Because, like, really now fun. I do music. Everyone's always like, yeah. where's uh, Mr. whatever his name was? Art. Where's Alex where's Art? Art? Yes. Yeah, but whatever his name was on the show. Like, yes. where's so and so? Where's Art? Everclear? Art, was... Art Alexicus is his real oh, name. Is his yeah. Yeah. Al- uh, yes. Alexakis. Alexakis. I, you know, yeah, so that was just really neat to be able to bring all those great actors. I just on. remember a story though about Monroe, which was the name of the teacher was Mr. Kaja Gugu. It was just like a goofy name from an '80s band, but it didn't really fit when Jim J, you know, came on. And yeah. I remember we were just like uh, before bed one night. I'm sitting there. I'm like, what was? I'm like, this, this Kaja Gugu doesn't like fit with Jim yeah. J. And I'm like, what was? What was? The, what was his name on that? Three, uh, three's no, uh, too close for comfort. Yeah. And Michelle was like. Monroe and I'm like Mr. Monroe. Mr. Monroe. Hey, so a nice, little, a nice thing. little, a nice yeah. little throwback to a '70s sitcom. And of course, uh, Jim J thought that was that was great. So. J- Jim J is he so spectacular. Fun. Kills me in every single oh scene, every yeah. single line. Uh, so does Darren, Darren Norris, who yes. played Janitor Gordy, who you worked yes. with already on Fairly Odd Parents beforehand, right? You should know Darren is a pathological liar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And it, especially when it comes to me. So anything he says is probably Don't a lie. Whoa. No. We're definitely going to ask him everything about Scott Fellows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's if there's anything true. you want to just lay out about his dirty laundry now. Dar- no, no. Darren Norris is like, I mean, uh, one, one of the top funniest five people we know. favorite yeah. people and on the planet. And such an important yeah. role because all the other characters are... Are, all the other adults are sort of more adversarial to the kids or more like in positions well, of- It's that teacher student yes. thing, yeah. They're in authority. Gordy yeah. is one of us. <laughs> well, Darren, yep. Darren, I worked with at Fairly Odd Parents and voice actors just are the funniest people on the planet. And I've put every one of voice actors I've ever worked with like in, in my shows because they're just so funny. I mean, Tara Strong, who played Timmy Turner, was on Big Time Rush. Darren, mm-hmm. I mean, all the guys came on to- um, uh, came on to Ned's. Darren was just, I worked with him every day and we just would laugh our butts <laughs> off. And I'm like, I got this like, jam- he wanted to do live action. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, and um, I said, I got this, you know, this janitor character from a janitor in my seventh grade. The name was Gordy. Oh, nice. oh You were nice. friends with the janitor? I was friends with the janitor. Oh. Yep. Oh, and uh, yeah, Scott exactly is Ned. And yeah, so yeah. I remember. Scott is he Ned. He is absolutely Ned. Yes. Wow. Yes. And I feel honored so many that I'm stories. baby yes. Ned. <laughs> you are. Uh, anyway, so I just, I wrote the role for Darren. But I remember uh, Nick was like, uh, he's too good looking to be a janitor. And I'm like. He's very handsome. So, so I remember before we shot the pilot, Darren was like, we were kind of like, hey, what's this? What is this? Char- like, what is this character? And. Um, and we were talking about like it'd be kind of like a Bill Murray esque like Caddyshack Caddy kind of guy. Yeah. Um, but Darren was like so into golf, and he is like such a handsome man. Yeah. So, so we're like, okay, golf. And so we literally, bef- like, I would say like a half an hour before we shot the pilot, we were in his dressing room, and we came up with that he was a uh, his his dad was like a gazillionaire, right. and that Gordy couldn't hold the job, but if he wanted to keep his Trust fund. Trust fund. He had to have a job, and the janitor job was 10 minutes from the golf course. It was the closest job <laughs> uh-huh. to the golf course. So when he, do you remember the episode when he came in like on a golf cart? And, wow. he, and you remember that remember the time <laughs> He's in he was a in a tuxedo yeah. and you don't and know? Like, right? yep. Yeah. Yep. So the backstory was that Gordy was this like trust fund. That's why he's like, I'll Which is why he doesn't give a shit about getting Doesn't give a shit about getting <laughs> And why he's so damn handsome. And why he's so handsome uh, and why he gets a little like, he's also just an eccentric. Like why he in, gets obsessed with the weasel. But in middle school, you know, um, I always tell the kids like, hey, make friends with, Make friends with the popo, like yeah. make friends with security, make friends with the janitor because they will give. Make friends with the lunch people because yeah. you yeah. will get treated like I think we did an episode about lunch lady because mm-hmm. it's oh, like yeah, if she sure. likes you, your day is so much easier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If the janitor like doesn't like you, like you know, you, you could just you know, yeah, yeah. Scott was in the yeah Scott was in the hallway there. He wasn't for, outside. Yeah. You know, doing something all yep, that kind of stuff. Yep, yeah, yep. yeah. So that was Gordy. Aww. So yeah. So I pulled everything from from that and the stories. God, I love yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This episode is brought to you by Scentbird. Scentbird believes in the power of fragrance. Come on down and join our community of delicious smelling people. Oh, the aroma. There is a really strong relationship that we have with smells, right? And so let's try to make our trademark a good one or a memorable one or one that really suits us, right? Not just dryer sheets and sweat, right? Not that there's anything wrong with that. Well, Scentbird has you covered. 
Scentbird is a subscription fragrance service. It's highly affordable and it's gonna let you try out a bunch of different scents and really just be smelling good everywhere you go. Scentbird lets you choose a new designer fragrance every month for just 17 bucks. It's a no-brainer. Prada, Versace, Gucci, all in the privacy and comfort of your own home without all that extra salesman energy that we get at retail stores trying to shop in public for our fragrance. I really like this Adage Sion. It's, uh, it's really woodsy and uh, kind of musky. Oh, super fresh. Yeah, it's, this, is, this is the jam. I love the fact that you get to try out different smells before committing to a big bottle of perfume or cologne that you're gonna have forever that you spend a lot of money on. This way, you spend a little bit monthly and you get a bunch of different smells to try out. Try Sanford, 17 bucks a month to really maybe capture another part of your personality, another part of your little swag, another, another tool in your chest. Use code NEDSPOD to get 55% off your first month at Sanford. Get in there, start smelling good. You know what I'm saying? Start smelling good. Thank you, Scentbird, for the sponsorship. Make sure you guys check out the links below. But as far as the casting goes, um, you're right. Everyone was so special. So good. And so much fun. A lot of them, um, uh, uh, Mr. Chop saw. That was um, oh, one Dave. of the executives. Uh, really uh, good friends with one of the executives. And he came in. I'm like, yep, that's Chop Saw. Oh, full, I mean, he just fully. Full Chop, full Chop yeah, Saw. He yeah. came in and... Uh, uh, in a the flannel, uh, flannel, the, flannel. Yeah. Yep, yep. and then was like so sweet to you. Oh my god! I love wood. I mean, wood just, is our passion. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. The, the prodigy. The, yeah. The, yeah, And then Don, <laughs> Don <laughs> was amazing. Guy. Sweeney, Sweeney was yeah. really your antagonist. Yes. Like that yeah. was the thing. And I always had like a Sweeney, uh, but the idea was that um, uh, he just wanted you. To, <laughs> he just wanted you to do the work. That yeah, last we moment in field trips, though. Yeah. Oh, and you, well, oh, you talked trips. about another episode. Oh, yeah. Huge. I mean, there's an episode in the first season where, yeah. like, Ned is trying all these things the to get work? Sweeney to give him a good grade. Right. And at the end, it's just like, have you tried doing the work? I know. Yeah. Do well, the you, work? you always said that. You do say the that work. you struggle in school. And then, then when you actually try doing the work, you're like, oh, I actually did well. Yeah, that was until well. college. Until college, I'm like, wow. When I, You know when you read, you actually read the book? You the rest of the stuff. Wow, it really The test gets a lot easier. I really love, like, how multi faceted the teachers were because it, you, he allowed Ned to push him too, like the episode yeah. with the atomic flush yeah. and doing it for science oh, and yeah. you know like it, there was just um, it was adversarial but they they were both pushing each other I love yeah. that yeah. and then I want to get back to a, a point with with TV production which was something that because that was my first live action show I did mm -hmm. and and um, Don what, what was Don's last Don name? Creech. Don Creech so he was not in the pilot it was this other actor that that had the sort of similar um, sort of, you know, qualities and, and age. And he was terrific. Mm -hmm. And I really loved him. And then when it came to shoot the show, he had like another series. And it was came down to like, you know, well, if you, you know, if you do this, you do that. Uh, and we're like, I, I don't think we can make this work. And then Don comes in. And I'm like, oh, damn, it's better, Sweeney. Nice. You know, yeah. and I can't tell you how many times that has happened that I was like, I, someone either backed out or got another series or just maybe wanted a, a much stronger contract. And we were like, then all of a sudden mm -hmm. it comes in. So I never really after that ever got panicked when something mm, fell through. Someone, yeah. Because, like, um, well, because I, yeah, because the it, next it gets one's going to come exactly. in. Yep. And exactly. How much does your middle school love life mirror Ned's middle school love life? Uh, pr probably in the same zone of um, uh, like not popular, not unpopular. Um, I was a little chunky in seventh grade, so you were you had a much better uh, uh, physical Trust appearance. <laughs> right. But I was funny, so that always helped. But yeah, I think it was just that idea. It's like you're just it's terrifying at that age. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And also very innocent. So mm -hmm. yes. I think a lot of other shows like I always played this like you know the big kiss and stuff like that. And you guys had the big kiss at the end of it. But I mean, like it's to so me, sweet. it was it was just was terrifying. It was just yeah. 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 Uh, uh, Being, with with relationships. It was much easier to have those friendships. But yeah. we did have a crush. It was it was strong, but it was, was more terrifying than it undercover. was rewarding for me. Yeah. 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 So you didn't have a Mose, or did you have a Mose, and did you <laughs> get the big? Well, oh, you mean not in middle school? school. Well, yeah. No. Okay. Well, all right. I, I, well, I want to hear. I mean, I, think I was going to say I did pretty good with the ladies. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. When, it, when it came down one. to it, I did pretty right? good. With the yeah. Ladies. Right one. No, I just think honestly, we would sit in that writer's room, and so that was just everybody's childhood. Like we just oh, tell just our stories of what happened in middle school and. That's where it all came out. It was just, it was so much fun. Like we just yeah. sit in the room laughing mm. so much. Yeah, up Coconut with the Head came from a writer, Joe Fallon, 
Uh, he yep. just said there was this kid that they called him Coconut Head, and it was because like he had that horrible Bowl cut. cut. Yeah. yeah, and so that was like the first joke I think in the really the first episode was but the, the, don't yeah, get a last minute mom had, job. Yeah, he had Rob, different hair though. In, in, the, the in the pilot. Yeah, it was yeah. weird. It was weird. It didn't work in the pilot. <laughs> did, you, no. did you not like that? Like no, they, it didn't work no, in the pilot because like, it understand. didn't look like a coconut. Yeah, it, so, it didn't work. But you didn't have any say over it? You couldn't be like, hey, I did, but... Of course he did, but... You, it, maybe it wasn't fully... No, it's like... it. It's fly by the seat of your pants. Yeah. Like when yeah, you're yeah, shooting yeah. these and shows. You choose your battles. Like, yeah. You choose guy. your battles. Yeah. So Rob just yeah. told us a story, Coconut Head, yeah. of they were like getting ready to Did he shave. or didn't he? Give him a buzz. <laughs> Is he <laughs> after this episode I don't or know. before this I don't know. But <laughs> listen, we heard a story from Rob about them getting ready to like shave his head because they were going to do something else to make Coconut Head. And he said, you came in. Like he said, our, our hairdresser, uh, KJ, was like, uh, literally, like with the razor, he's in the chair. He's about to get his head shaved, and you came running down. Like, wait, let's not shave his head. Let's find something else. Do you have a wig? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah so it's last the minute nice. choice. And then it, it, and it it's was. It's iconic. It it, it is. Yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty iconic. great. And 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 that instance, whatever they had planned for Coconut Head, because don't forget, you know, Coconut Heads. Coconut Heads are not just the bowl, but it's also very like a spiky. You know, whatever's on the outside of a coconut. Right, right. Yeah, so I think maybe that's where it goes. But then it just sort of. Yeah, I ran in. I'm like, no, just get him a wig and just do yeah. the worst haircut. Right. Yeah, the and that worst bowl cut. Right. So it worked. And those are, those are really happy things that happen that just sort of kind And then, of course, Rob. He's I mean, probably just happy phenomenal. to keep his hair. Yeah, uh, yeah. Rob. Yeah, he sounded but, like he was. But he was, he was perfect. Another, another casting that just uh, – uh, uh, see, uh, I was thinking the other day about casting uh, Kyle, who played uh, Bully, Bully Loomer, Loomer, Billy Loomer. Yeah. Um, he was just like a one-off in the pile. Like he just said, a coconut head. And he makes this dumb laugh and just goes to chase him to kill him. And that was it. And and then when it came to when we got the series got picked up, we were like, you know, they were casting. I'm like, who was the kid that we had in the pilot? Like, cause he literally just pulled him off, like, wow. you know, just a quick little like under five. You wow. know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh so we found Kyle and he came in and I'm like, hey, you gotta do more than like, hey, it's coconut head. <laughs> And then he he yeah, crushes like, everything. everything. His yeah. bully bit, yeah. his softness with yeah. Moe's, uh, rewatching it. You guys nailed it, man. Each yeah. character, Rachel Sibner, Lisa Simo, oh, wow. just yeah. Yeah. perfect. Alex Black, Seth Powers, like watching these characters. Everyone was so in the pocket yeah, of their character. It was, it was blessed. It was. Take them down this year, Cookie. <laughs> Alex had a way of reading lines <gasps> that yeah, were yeah. was yeah. so strange and like, always was, threw us off, but was so it. Was like an it. accent, but it wasn't. Exactly. My favorite, exactly. Line, my favorite delivery of Alex, uh, who plays Seth Powers, is um, is you were crushing on him, and and there's a scene where it's I think it might be the three of you, but you're like I think I want to go to the dance with Seth. And then you look over and you're like, and you're like, Seth, really? You, we pan the camera over and it's Alex at the water fountain. He's like, oh, how does the water come out? <laughs> <laughs> but he, he put that like breathy and then we yeah. pan back to you yeah. and Devin goes, the he's breath. clearly a deep thinker. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he had this how way is, of speaking. Oh, it's like one of my favorite uh, Seth breath. moments, uh, seating and tryouts when Ned's like, hey, it's not a big deal. I can just go sit there. And Seth was like, well, Ned, this is da 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 And here we have these. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, right they're, the so they're sitting at the cool table. <laughs> We're sitting at the dorky table. I'm just like, what's the big deal? I'm just going to go over there and sit there. And he's like, oh, yeah, Ned, for sure you can sit here. Let me introduce you to everybody. This is Susie, so-and-so, so-and-so, Lisa Zemo, nerdy boy, and sits me right back down where I started seamlessly. <laughs> Such a good bit. Such a good bit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. Alex Black, legend. Incredible. Yeah, really fantastic. Really fantastic. And and uh just, you know, bl really blessed with that cast. I mean, when yeah. Meshack I, came I, in. I, oh my and, Susie God, was different in the pilot. Yeah. Su yeah. Susie was different. I never I didn't Was Susie that. different in the pilot? Yeah. yeah. We just saw a photo, but yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I remember when Christian came in. So Christian came in and just did this audition for Moe's, I think. And mm. it was just the it was just a very different approach to Mosley. And I'm watching Attitude. it. I'm like, this Am is, I right? I'm like, <laughs> it was just that and like, um, just uh, kind of like breathy. But, but I was like, 
I'm watching her, I'm like, okay, this is not Moe's, but this is something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I was like, okay, let's make this Moe's uh, rival. rival. And so mm -hmm. that's what Christian got. And of course, that, that worked out great. Yeah. Those first episodes, like Mosley, yeah. crap yes. grass. So good. <laughs> oh, so great. good. That's Christian great. was great. Man. Moment, Honestly, a lot of the kids showdown. came that way because they came in for the audition for the three main characters. And we saw great people. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That but you they were like, weren't that's... right for that character. So we had a whole short list of amazing kid actors were like we love that this person like, just from the in. main character yes. casting that's awesome I, I feel like bring them almost in. that's not done any I, I i just always loved how you guys did that you always remembered you know and and brought those yeah. people back well, but i just don't know that that happened yeah, yeah but when you cast you get all the headshots right so yeah. there was definitely kids that came in and they're all terrific and they're all trying so hard and nerves come into it but there was definitely like like kids that had a certain attitude and we would just take that headshot and mm -hmm. just move it over to this pile yeah. of like, well, we got to work with this Keep kid. it pile. Well, Some, yeah. for sure. Or, you would just see one and be like, I don't know what the role is yet, but yeah. this kid is really talented yeah. and we cool. want to put him on the show. Aspiring yeah. cool. actors are really going to yeah. appreciate that because sometimes I feel like I go into these auditions and it's like, yeah. okay, you you didn't get this one, so we're, we're just going to start again. You're useless. But they're going to really appreciate that some of these creators out there actually will hold on to your uh, auditions. Guys. Well, I think I told you guys and we tell people because a lot of our you know, kids friends they want to be actors it's like a lot of times you don't get the role it's not because you weren't great it's because you might be taller than the person a lot of times I couldn't cast somebody because you look exactly like the person you're going opposite like mm -hmm, you're terrific mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. there really is a lot of uh, play involved but one time I remember we had two two actresses For to Logan play Browning's character right yes yeah I remember you and there were asking. two great yeah. actresses and Michelle and I were like ah like, we don't Vanessa, know they're so Vanessa. great. Vanessa, we're like, they're so great. And I'm like, who does Daniel want to date? Oh. Yeah, I remember right. <laughs> <laughs> hey! I do remember that. Fun fact, I didn't pick Logan. Oh. I didn't pick Logan. I picked this other girl. Oh, yeah. so she must not have been available. But <laughs> No, no, I think you were like, wait, wait look at it again. <laughs> look at it again. Is that Daniel. true? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just like, uh, Logan was great. But and then also he had a huge crush on Logan. So oh, yeah, it worked no, out. Logan, Logan was great. I, I think thought I knew that the other girl. So it was a little, I think uh, it was Kashawn Sims. I'll go ahead and just plug her real quick. I think I kind of knew her. And then I was like, so oh, like, oh, the girl I, I know. I'm kind of just picking her because I know her all got. Okay, I, I, the story in my head was that okay. you came in and it worked out great. But so, yeah. so, so it did work out great. <laughs> it did work out great. <laughs> yeah. It did work yeah. out great. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I also want to ask, like, our set had such a magical environment. What that comes down to is the top. It's always, like, we, we credit you guys with all of it is, like, <laughs> That's how, Michelle, that's how sets, <laughs> I mean, that's how sets go, that's how jobs go, is whoever's at the top is gonna kind of trickle down the energy of what the environment is, and our set was so oh, yeah. lovely. Um, yeah. Did you guys have to like consciously cultivate that? Did it just happen because it was such a family environment, like with your kids being on set and you guys? I mean, did you have to, did you have to make it happen? Did you have to, Kick drama out because our set was like we did lovely. Kick, we man. did kick drama yes. out every now and then. Um, I my, think people got asked back who were genuinely nice people. Mm -hmm. It's that classic thing. Like it was a nice crew. It was a nice cast. Like yeah. everyone really made an effort to, you know, be inclusive. And also, we we tried to create an environment where you know you guys are there for so many hours a day. You're yeah. not in a regular school, so. One of the things that we talked about was just trying to create kind of a fun school environment so that mm -hmm. you get that a little bit because yeah. you're kids. You yeah. guys are kids. Yeah, you so. guys are kids. And yeah. I think that I just sort of had an idea that if I just felt that if we're having fun, if we're having fun, then that'll go on. That'll go on the set, even though we're doing a you know a scene that maybe isn't so fun or it's something that maybe is a little bit more dramatic or, or emotional. But I think if not if too the much crew, yeah, no, 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 we didn't have a lot. No, yet. but I'm saying, but if if, <laughs> if the crew's having fun and the cast's having fun, I think that eventually comes out on camera. Oh, That's yeah. I think that that, that did work. Oh, yeah. That is beautiful, and it was very yeah. important. And it's true, for, it was really important for the both of us to make sure that you guys had fun because you really did. You gave your childhoods to that show. Did we shoot for three years? Four three years. years? Three years. Three years. And right in the middle of that time. Yep. Yeah. And so we wanted to make so sure we did it. not. Oh, yeah. yeah but yeah. but make mean, sure that, that that was in time. And, that, and it, like it was, we still had a childhood because the environment on the yeah. show yeah. was yeah. like it being at school. Yeah. For sure. yeah. Because we had a big cast of kids, like we, did, we were yeah. hanging out and playing like, we were working our asses yeah, but off, the but, but the social was, aspect was there and the kid aspect was there, the play. Yeah, and I, I and that think was that's, really important. Yeah, I think that's really lasted. I think we had like, sometimes we did like airplane contests, right? And didn't we do like <gasps> yeah. Jersey days? Oh my gosh, I have and, a photo yeah. of you with your paper airplane and you wrote, fuck no. off. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that picture. Right? 
Yeah. It's like, it's, he's so appropriate, but also obscene sometimes, yeah. and it's amazing. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's, that's you guys, you guys laughed different. every time I swore. You Yo, guys oh, laughed. Was, oh, man. Yeah. And every and every time you knocked a plate of food out of my hands. Oh, yeah. Was, <laughs> how does it taste on the floor? I remember one time you guys were in school, and I just opened the door. I just gave Lindsay a huge, like, this. <laughs> yes. And I closed the door, and apparently, like, your teacher was just like, what, what just happened? <laughs> yes, yes, okay, okay, yes, no, that that was a dynamic that would hap happen often. So Scott Fellows is our uh, creator of the show, executive producer, boss on set of everybody. Yeah. We have our teacher and welfare worker, The te our teacher, our studio teacher is also there to make sure the child labor laws are good, yeah, yeah. make sure we're being treated well That's as correct. children, That's right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and he's a true educator, he's such a sweet man, Scott Plimpton. Yeah, Scott was great. But, Scott was but Scott would just like basically live in his hole, like he would live in the schoolroom. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> <laughs> um, is that what he sounds like? But Scott, Scott would be in there, and we love Scott. But then Scott Fellows, it wasn't just that. Many times you would just like bust in the schoolroom, yeah. like knock shit off my <laughs> desk. Hey, That's right. Yeah. I like clean. I would your whole desk, and yes. I just clean. <laughs> and then and then go about your day. And Scott Plimpton, our our welfare worker, our teacher, is just like. <laughs> what is happening? He has no power to control any like, of it. That's the boss on set? Like, are you being abused? And it's like, <laughs> no, remember? we're cracking up. So there was a punishment for us swearing in, in the schoolroom, and it was eating a dog treat. Uh -huh. And you just come in and just beast a fucking handful at one point. Well, well there just this became, it, it wasn't It wasn't even like a punishment <laughs> after a while. Like, it just became this game. Scott Plimpton got these dog treats that like were labeled as like multi, there were different flavors. So then we all were like trying the different the flavors. Treats, yeah. Yeah. And and they're everyone, milk bones. They're a purple they're milk, milk bones. bones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. all taste the same. Right? They, they all taste the same. It was so gross. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone was taste. everyone cool. was kind of like fucking around with them. Like I don't know. And you come in and just take a handful of them and go, what? Like, it's what? not so bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if, if, if if any of you at home listening have not eaten uh, milk, milk bones, bone. it's like eating cardboard. It tastes like nothing. It tastes like nothing. It tastes like cardboard. It's like crunchy. But I do remember that because I came into the room just to check or do something stupid. And you, I think, I thought you said you handed me a box. You're like, Scott, we're eating dog treats. Of course I something did. And so you put it out there. But I have to say, like, um, I guess I did grab a handful. You, you did. But <laughs> in a very split second, I'm like, I got to eat these fucking dog treats because if I don't, these kids are going to think I'm a. You know, yeah. they're gonna like oh, think you're not not think you should be like yeah we're gonna think had less I, of had you. I had I just He's chowed weak. them if I if I was like oh no those are gross my my cool would have been like it's true and it's it it's been true yeah. because it's yeah. because you did it because and when we you were did like that, it was like. Scott! <laughs> but yeah, the other thing is though, I'm like, okay, if they're eating dog treats, they can't be that bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I think if you were saying like, oh, you know, if you you know, hey this Scott, we're eating dog shit. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. Pass. I'll I'll pass. My cup of tea. We'll leave yeah. that on you guys. Yeah. You guys have that yeah. one. But yeah. Scott Scott was terrific and he also um uh, knew that that was a you know a real impressionable important time for you to not to get your not just to get your education. But to really be enjoying that time, I think I listened on a podcast. You guys were talking about people that get let go. I remember a wardrobe person upset you, and then we fired her. Wow. Yeah. It yeah. was it was between Alicia, wow. Alicia, Alicia, our original uh, wardrobe person, um, got married and had a kid, so she had to leave, and she was fantastic. And then we brought somebody in that had like a great. We we, we met a couple of people. And they were, um, they both had great resumes. This one had just more experience and just really was great in the interview. And then she came in and she just was a bit, you know, like draconian, just very, and like you were like all of a sudden not coming out like smiling. And I'm mm. like, what's going on here? And then one of you just said like, we, we hate this person. <laughs> We we right. definitely I had we, and I we definitely that. we definitely had that with our first studio teacher, the teacher on yeah. the first season. Yeah. Yeah, we were like, yeah, yo, we her. hate this yeah, person. Yeah, yeah. Like, so, she's so, so mean. So in, it, getting back to what Michelle was saying is that, you know, if if there was drama, we would find a way to basically bring somebody in that 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 as quickly and quietly. Yeah, well, especially like it in was, that department. Yeah, someone's dressing yeah. you. All and especially all yeah, yeah, and you're I don't, there. I don't remember that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys had a way of taking care of us. That's what I remember. Like if there was. If there was something that was really gonna become an issue for one of the kids, whoever it was, I know like we could go to you or yeah. a mom could go to you and you yeah. guys would handle it. Like, yeah, yeah. However it needed to be handled. Yeah. I think there were some discussions of the parents if, if you see that something else was um, yeah. 
was a little uh, wonky, we'd sort of get to the bottom of it because, you know, well, we loved you guys. Yeah. You just was right consistently right like showed up for us and like loved on us and it, it just shows. It still shows, you know? Yay. Well, yeah. you guys feel like yeah. family. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for real. It, it, you dude, really I gotta, do. I gotta get back to those you really do. Bullshit. Like, let's go. Oh, yeah. right. Let's go. Yeah. It's always yeah. so early. It is early. How yeah. funny that I'm running into your guy's son at parties I these know. days. I <laughs> know. So oh. weird. I'm ending up drunk with Charlie, okay. and it's oh. and it's wild. Yo, it's wild. Well, Charlie's 26 He's an adult. Now. He's a fucking yeah. adult. I understand, but that yeah, yeah. that just doesn't seem right. It's great. Yeah, and we you laugh. guys are in the same circles. It's, uh, it's so crazy. We have like one circle that we overlap yeah. in, and it's amazing. <laughs> um, but before we wrap up, I also want to ask, um, what's it like to have created a boy band that's still out there touring the world to this <gasps> right. day? Ooh. I know I created a boy Scott band. Fellows created Big created Time Rush. Wow. I didn't know you were such a musical. Dead, no, was I didn't know you were such a boy band man. Well, um, but they're still out there. They're touring. Incredible. They are. They're touring. It's really neat. I'll, I'll just tell one story. But um, Michelle says this is that when we when we cast that show, um, I told the guys like, "Hey, we're gonna you know, just kind of motivate them, get really excited because it it's, it's an enormous amount of work, and you guys know more than anybody the amount of work it is." And so I said, you know, we're gonna we're gonna sell out Madison Square Garden. Like oh. We're gonna do that. And they were like, you know, pumped up. But we didn't like. During the, <laughs> I, mean, the, I thought this was gonna be yeah. like. Dang. <laughs> no, the guys the guys did like three tours I think during the show, but we never did like Madison. That, that's why you know because Bieber was selling those out yeah. and mm -hmm. Miley was selling those out, and I just was like, I was always kind of bummed that I, we didn't do that thing yeah. that, I, that we told them they were gonna do. And then last summer they sold out Madison Square Garden. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> I, I always joke yeah. to the guys. I'm like, hey, it took ten years. Like I told wow. you, yeah. that's hey, amazing. Yo, so and, any... and Kendall was like a Kendall was a friend oh, of mine when you cast him. Yeah. Ken, yeah. Kendall was like one of my teenage yeah. homies. And then Carlos I knew, Carlos, Logan I knew. Yeah. So so cool with all those guys. Well, the nicest thing is that you guys are all together and you're still really good friends, and that's our favorite legacy. Of the show. I mean, it's kind of yeah. neat how you guys all still like each other, and yeah, it's. And it's that the feeling is still there. It's like, really that, that yeah. like no time magic. has passed. I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then a couple things. A couple things before we go. We're yeah. wrapping up, right? Yeah. yeah. But but I just wanted to say on earlier podcast there was like I would come on and just tell you guys what to say. Wow. <laughs> and that did happen. Yes. <laughs> yes, lot. it did. Yeah. But I do want to <laughs> say that you know that you know there's a term in kids TV that Daniel blows up. In 45 minutes. You know, yes, yes. Which is a terrible, I said, can we not say the kids yeah, blow up? Yeah, yeah. But what blow up means is that they have, there's only a certain amount of time you can be on set before you have to go back to school yeah. or you basically reach your lobby for that day, which is nice yeah, to have like, right. the, don't overwork the kids. Right, yeah, but yeah. it's stressful yeah. on a production. You have only so much time yeah, to get those so, scenes so while you guys are about looking, to be wrapped. Right, right, so when you're thinking about, you know, something else or, or you guys are on set, uh, you know, I, I'm looking at the clock, I've got like five yeah. minutes. So that's yeah. why I was always just running out on like, because the other just thing say is, it like this. We'll we're moving like on. I don't, I, I don't remember a huge. No, because you were a better actor. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, no, but but I, yeah, I, I would not take that away that he, you know what I mean. And that no, was like I say that with uh, reverence. Is yes, like yes. you would do it, and yeah. it would always be funny. Like, oh yeah, right, yeah, right. you knew what it needed and, to be. And it wasn't, like, and it wasn't time, every time. line. Right. Like yeah. sometimes it happens. Sometimes we would team up though, because I remember one time in a couple of scenes when. When he kisses you for the first time, but he thinks he's kissing Susie, crap, oh, crap, yeah. and you're like, "What do I do here?" We're thinking, "Yeah, yeah, just, what's funny?" <laughs> just go, just go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh but you point. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. pointed. That's there that's were really so funny many video. of those so we, kind we of Scottism team up. Oh, dance. for sure. I don't say that like, oh yeah, Susie's on the dance floor. <laughs> 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 that one still kills me. <laughs> Susie's on the <laughs> dance floor. So oh, yeah. I saw. I saw. Ke speaking of Kendall, Big Time Rush. I saw him recently, and I brought up you, and then we were both just going. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, just like like Scott Fellows isms. Oh, I also want to ask. People ask a lot about the high school survival guide that yeah. never was. Kind of what was the idea and what happened? Well. Unfortunately, you know, and Michelle knows this because she worked on the executive side, but you were talking about like the series at that point only really went like three years. Yeah, they they basically would make enough episodes so they could strip the series. And that that means basically they can air it five, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, mm. Friday, like that. So mm -hmm. that was it. And then think about it. You guys did that show for three years. Your audience grows up yeah. and starts watching other things, and now a whole new audience. Oh, I just hit the thing. Okay. Oh my god! So no, then the new audience comes in, and then 
you know, you and have a whole fresh, fresh audience yeah. that's yeah. watching the yeah. show. So yeah. they didn't need to make more episodes than yeah. that. Yeah, it, it was kind of, it reached yeah. But in hi- yeah, that's true. But in hindsight, they, I think because um, at the end of our third season, we were like the most popular we were. Yeah. So at the end of that, yeah. there was like, hey, maybe we did pull the plug. A too little soon, early. But, early. But knowing, knowing that it was three seasons, we really did make it that you're going to go to high school. So then they did um, commission a script for Ned's yeah. uh, high school. But at the same time, that's when they were really pushing. That's when Disney was really exploding with all the music. Yeah. So that's when they came to me and said, you have a music show. Right. Oh. Victorious so then oh. came music right, based. Right, right, right. And, and like, Miley and then, and yeah. then Jonas. So they're like, yeah. do you have a, do you have a, so at the same time I pitched them like uh, a the show about the, the world's worst boy band. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's what, nice. that's what, that's what it was. And then, and then you guys know, we went back with maybe even adult, um, mm. uh, right, an yeah, adulting. Yeah. yeah. That was, right. that was the last thing I wanted to bring yeah. up yeah. was yeah. we for a couple years developed at least the concept of yeah, great concept, the yeah. adult survival mm-hmm. guide because our, the fans who watch the show, they've grown up just like us, and now they're in the fucking real world. Like, people always ask me, like, what would the reboot be? Are you teachers back in school? Are you in college? It's like, no. I like dude. the teacher angle. Yeah, I, do. I mean, <laughs> yeah. That, that's funny, but like, yeah. but Ned, Ned wouldn't have become a teacher. A gym teacher? <laughs> Maybe. Uh-huh. I think that Ned would have tried to go into like a career in like video games. Yeah. But then Failed. end up, but then end up teaching. That yeah, later. Right. 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 Um, Ned's be a janitor? I, I don't. No, I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah. um, but I, I, I love Dark Concept, which is like, that's the hardest time for this generation is figuring out once you're dropped into the real world and you kind of realize like nothing has prepared me for how complicated being responsible for my adult life is. Yeah. Paying my own bills, roommates, cars, insurance, yeah. life just all of a sudden it comes is, at you fast. Yeah. And that was our concept for the reboot was mm-hmm. Ned Mose and Cookie out of college. Yeah. Needing to figure out and re- And rebooting, lives. re-rebooting their lives. Like yeah. you were, you, I think... I think in that reboot, just very quickly, um, you were actually very tech successful, but miserable. Miserable. Because like you were making the money, but you're in the corporation you didn't really believe in or had Uh some higher ups that you thought were tools. Yeah. You were engaged. But had come from anger management. You just got out of anger management. Yeah, and coming out of a major relationship, which is like a huge adulthood transition when you're kind of rebuilding your life. And then yep. you end up, I forget, you quit something, you end up on his couch. And by yeah. the end of the by the end of the and by the end of the theory, it was that you and Cookie are living together, you leave the guy because you realize you're not, and then you guys kind of all restart. Yeah, the uh, thought the thought for the pilot was like Ned Ned actually at the beginning of the pilot being actually like despondent, like struggling with his adult oh, that's life, right. I call unable to give Noah. tips. And then Cookie calls, calls Moe's. Moe's. Like we haven't been in touch. He calls Right. You gotta, you Recalling gotta help reinforcement. Like, well, you and, gotta and help the, And the backstory, I think, was that you guys had dated we had at some dated. point in high well, school. We had dated, well, for sure, we dated. Right, yeah. so you call her, he's like, I can't help it him. It was and my old love. In, and you're like, the, snap you're like, hey, out of snap it. Snap out of this, <laughs> yeah. this isn't Never you. Had. And you get Ned back on board with like, all right, we're gonna do this adulthood and thing, adult and tips. I'm gonna create a new yeah, guide. A new guide. Yeah. Beautiful like idea. Show. Beautiful I agree. idea. I agree. I agree. Things come around. Things come around. Yeah, yeah. You never know. I know it's still out know. there. I just wanted it to be shared because I loved it and I loved our pitch. I liked and I loved idea pitching of it. with you guys. Yeah. 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 And like, I just think the concept was like a win-win for everybody: the audience, us. Yeah, it's not, it's not dead. dead. It's there. It's, it's dead. there. Yeah. And when and when. You put in so much good effort for that. Yeah, yeah. Man, it was fun. That video. It was yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just I because a lot of audience members ask. What do you think Ned and Mose and Cookie would be doing? And I just wanted to share that because I think that's what they would be doing. They'd be struggling through their 20s like the but rest figuring, of but us. But figuring it out. But yeah. figuring yeah. it out. Figuring it out. Yeah, yeah. Figuring exactly it out. like you did in We're all school. figuring it out. And diving yeah. in, it out. And, diving in yeah. and, and doing the research and finding out right. like, things like, I think we had episodes to like the guide to taxes, the guide to mm-hmm. tickets, oh, right? The, the, yeah. the, the guide mm-hmm. to toxic roommates, yes, all that, that kind that. of stuff. Yeah. The guides to a toxic boss. Yeah, yeah all those Struggling things. Struggling with roommates. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah, finances, So taxes. I love that. Maybe it'll come back around someday. Yeah, it's out there in a parallel universe in the multiverse. Every time we finish an episode. You do a like, shot? No. <laughs> That's <laughs> after, baby. Oh, no, please don't, baby. no, she's sober. <laughs> this, ain't, this ain't middle school um, anymore. <laughs> no, when we finish episodes, we like to give one tip to the audience and coming from the tip masters that's that's also the tip thing masters. We, we also get credit for like the tips on the show i'm like yeah, it was the writer's room of adults giving you tips um well, but, but but again looking back at every, all the tips that we needed at adult, that right yeah, yeah. from a kid it's oh right yes but uh so if you have a, a both of you if you could give a tip to an uh, audience member out there who is maybe just struggling with their 
adulthood. Yeah. Just struggling with whatever this life is, being responsible for it, setting it up, finding joy. Um, well, I guess from like a path perspective, you know, you and I are always of the idea of don't just try not saying no, just try saying yes to things. Like if something isn't perfect, that's okay. You can pivot. But I think so many times you think, oh, I'm not going to take this job or I'm not going to make this move because it's scary. And I think it just leads to other things. Like it just does just naturally. It's the same thing we tell our kids all the time. You know, yeah. you should take this job or, or, or meet that person because that person may know someone who has something that you're interested in and then that will lead to this and that will lead to this. And so that was kind of our paths a lot in life. And yeah, I trying think, to manage your fear because it's yeah. so, because, because you're, you're mm. sometimes we focus on making the wrong moves that we miss out on what could eventually lead to the right move. So mm. like, like we we're saying earlier, some things didn't work out, but then all of a sudden it worked out the next, the next time. So those are things sometimes like, you know, I've been fired like five times from shows or from pilots or from writing something. Yeah. But then that led to something else for someone that didn't like the script, but somebody else did like it and said, so if I don't take that thing or I don't take a risk, so yeah. risk is something I think is very important. It's very scary, especially when you're like, you know, I, I don't want to look like an idiot, but I would say that get out of your comfort zone, do hard things. You know, it's very easy to stay back and be, play it safe. But when you really do live a life, it's when you take those risks. I'm sure you guys can think about it, too. And the idea is like it can be scary, but like you get you get one shot, you know. Yeah. And the other thing, like, you know, early on in my life, I just, I came across the term, like, snafu, you know, like, which is a <laughs> World War II, like, situation normal, all fucked up. That's where we're all in that. Yeah. Like, if you think that's, that a person has got their life together, like, they don't. Yeah. None mm -hmm. of us have cracked the code. I mean, I'm 57 now. I figured at your age, I'm like, oh, by 57, I'll have it all figured out. I don't know what I'm doing. I still <laughs> don't know what I'm doing. I still get a script and I'm like, I don't know how to write this. So it never wow. changes. You get new challenges come. But I would just say, just accept those challenges. And what Michelle has said is move forward. Don't, nothing's going to happen with just you sitting there. You have to move forward. And if you move three steps forward and you get burned, get back, then you go somewhere else. But, mm -hmm. but I would say that. I think people... Some, sometimes are just a bit too afraid to take those risks. Yeah. But I can say personally for me, um, you know, if I don't. Every time I took a little risk, it paid off. Mm. Like, mm. like even working at Nickelodeon, I, it wasn't even really a risk. It was just a random thing where I'm an adult and I met an executive on the show that you were working on and he had his young kids with him, his teenage kids. And he was kind of stressing out because he didn't know what to do with them. And I'm like, I'm not doing anything. I'll, I'll watch them for a day. So I took him out. You know, we went to Universal. I think we were down in Florida and cut to I was his assistant like six months later because when he was looking for an assistant, he's like, oh, she was really great. So that was my wow. first job at Nickelodeon. And I'm like, if I hadn't if I had just sat there and I was afraid and I didn't and I it wasn't I wasn't. It wasn't a means to an end. It was really just me like, I'm not doing anything. Sure, I'll watch yeah. the kids. And, mm -hmm. and they happen to like me, so. Oh. <laughs> but like, so but that's I think good. That's easy to understand. So you just take, just take things that aren't like the natural choice, maybe. That aren't the perfect next step. Yeah, but, it's like, just be in do movement. it. And don't yeah. be afraid of trying Move things that it. don't. See. I'm like, of course I didn't want to be a babysitter, you know, yeah. but I was like, yeah. sure, I'll just yeah. do that. Because I love it. It's something Stay that's open. there. It's scary. So. such a great tip. It's scary. It's scary to take that, that leap of faith a little bit. But then when you do that, first of all, two things, you feel great. You're like, I did this. Even if it bombs, you're like, I had the guts to go yeah. for or to jump that, or for ask for that job or to ask that person out or to just go to this place that something might work out. But as you go forward or as you say yes to things, it opens up all those doors. You know, everything yeah. Everything right now is like, in the shows, like these, everything's like these multiverses, right? Yeah. Yeah. And those are simply just doors that you decide whether you're gonna open them or not. Yeah. So those doors are scary. Yeah. yeah, you know, but it's like it's much better to open that door and see what's behind that than to stay back. So I would just say for kids, mm. if for in your thirties, you, if um, if if it feels stagnant or you you're not sure, just just push yourself. Do, you can do hard things. You don't think mm -hmm. you can, or sometimes you don't think you're good enough. That's everybody. Yeah. So just push yourself. Have that faith, and fun things, fun, neat, loving, crazy things happen. And that's life. <laughs> I love it. I love Perfect. it so much. Oh my much. gosh, I'm so grateful for you It's too. so good to it's see so you happy. guys. It's good to see you. I'm so proud of you. We're so proud of you yeah. guys. Yeah. Thanks for giving our lives so much. Yeah. Yes. So much. Oh Excitement, gosh. warmth, love, all of those well, things. Well, you, yes. yeah. you gave so much to that show and its shows, and kids really connected with that. 
And then um, the last thing we did, I remember as we wrapped up the show, mm. remember the prom? The yeah. prom? Yeah. 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 You did that for us. It was beautiful. It yeah, was so much fun. That it was beautiful. Was, wasn't that oh fun? God, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, we've talked about it. Like, we, yeah. I never had a prom. I never went to high school, too. So that was it. And like it was the end of the show. Was final so night perfect. on set was the prom. It was Those like final awesome night leather on set. jackets or Letterman jackets. Letterman, Letterman jackets. jackets. Yeah. yeah. But but again, not to Nickelodeon because um, as we're wrapping the show, I'm like, hey, these kids, like, and all of you, because it was all the cast, like, because yeah. they were homeschooled. You know, yeah. a lot of the actors were homeschooled. And I said to them, hey, these kids like never had like a school dance or a prom, and so they gave us some like. They, they gave, gave us some cash for that money party. Because we wanted to shout, party. Party. shout, shout out. out to Nickelodeon. <laughs> well, yeah. Because we talk it's some true. shit because they don't pay us any residuals. But <laughs> yeah. that rap but party was. That's beautiful, <laughs> honestly. There, and there was a lot of magic working for so Nickelodeon. And you, got so much and you look back, you honest. got a prom. That was important. Exa- uh, it, 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 it was. Good. Yeah, yeah. So um, thank you guys. We thank love you guys. You guys. So love you too. Love, love you guys so too. We're, we'll have to bring you back uh, no. as we do this. <laughs> like, like, no, <laughs> we'll be doing this for <laughs> years. Up, We're gonna Darren need Norris you back on liar. at some point. <laughs> okay, Darren Norris is a liar, guys. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Right. Follow us, subscribe, <laughs> share, comment. Hey, nice hey. episodes, hey. guys. Hey. Great hey. job. Hey. Thank you for watching. Thank we love you. making Ooh. this podcast. Yes. Thank you to our patrons who make our podcast possible. Thank you for supporting us. Us. Yes. These are our super, our super friends. friends. Yes. Top tier patrons. Thank mm-hmm. you for showing up. Yes. You get your you, name scrolled on our video. You are literally helping us make like our dream come true. The yes. dream of this podcast. Yes. Keeping it like, you keeping know, it alive. you're helping yeah. us sustain stay, stay this. Staying in the flow of, yes. you know, this cool energy. And you so. viewers at home, you can be one of our super friends. Yeah, go check out our get Patreon. Patreon.com right slash Ned's Pod. We got different tiers. We do a bunch of BTS live streams. It's a it's a crazy good time. And get your name put. And we can also make gold plaques that will settle down. You. Settle down. Settle That's down. A lot. We're not we're not manufacturing gold plaques. You know what time it is. Oh, it's time what time is oh, it? Oh, you know what time it is. Super Friends Dance. Oh, super, super Friends Dance. dance. Oh. Super Friends Dance. How do you do it Woo! with the oh, you turn dance. and you pull? Super Friends Dance. Mm. Super Friends Dance. It's good. Thanks, uh, love you. Thanks for being here. Be here next week. Subscribe, like, comment, share. We love you. What's up, guys? Thank you for watching this episode of Ned's Declassified Podcast Survival Guide. If you can't get enough of us, we got clips over on the Podco YouTube channel. You can check them out there. And if you really can't get enough of us, we got a ton of extra content and live streams and live Q&As on Patreon. And that helps support this podcast and and help us keep going and make it possible. So we love you for that. Uh, Check out the links in the description. And uh, thanks for tuning in.